Hey guys, welcome to Streaming Made Easy with my phone. This is Jess Paul. Welcome. You guys are the first ones here. Uh, get your favorite drink. I've got my coffee. I've got most of my liquid snacks. I have to stop talking so loud. I've got headphones on because in this stream, we're going to listen to the kind of music we want because when we play it over the stream, it sounds like garbage. So, whatever your life soundtrack is, put it on and enjoy the show. I'm going to spend about 60 seconds beaming my broadcast out to the rest of my social media so that we have a party because, hey, hey, two viewers, I got two viewers here. Not bad without telling anybody. I'm so glad you guys are always here. You can drop in the chat, and I always read comments and respond to them. Uh, you don't even have to pay. <laughs> Live chat. What are you guys listening to tonight? We're going to have such a fun craft. If To the two of you who are here, you have no idea that I've been waiting all week to do this project, and you guys are going to be witnessing it. I hope that you're excited. I gotta remember that I, no one else can hear what I'm, what I'm listening to. Um, it's gonna be great. I hope you guys had a good dinner. Always glad to be here. Hi, William Stoneberger. Hello, Hector Greencorn. Jess Miss Pittsburgh. I am from Pittsburgh. Um, who are you? Nice to see you. <laughs> Have you guys been checking out RecRadio.net? I recently, tonight, um, not tonight, every night for the rest of the week, have added some songs of the songs of the day every day this whole week. I had enough of them to be excited about. And when I do songs of the day, which I hope you guys enjoy, I always try to find something fun to talk about, something cool to say. Because, I mean... I feel like I can relate to everybody in saying that sometimes we find a song that we cannot get enough of. There are some songs that I get su on such like a, a journey with that I play it every morning when I wake up because it's in my head. Does anybody have songs like that? If you have a song that you that you hear in your head when you wake up and you have to play it, if you've ever had a song like that, put it in the chat. I'd love to hear. Hello, five viewers. Wow. Talk about Prince's treatment. Uh, yeah, if you guys are new to the stream here, I'm just very, very quickly uh, telling everybody that I'm on. I'm live! And what a fun night it will be. We are going to do another punk rock craft if you guys are interested. Let me say this. I've said, I, I've, I've looked a little bit. I haven't searched a great amount, but I don't think I've ever seen exactly the type of thing that I'm going to be doing tonight. I'm very excited about it. If it turns out good, it's going to be a great tutorial, but I'll explain what it is in just a second. Again, as soon as I uh, tell everybody I'm live. If you guys want to do this with me, go ahead and tweet out this link to anybody, tweet, Facebook, whatever. Life by Had Hadaway. Big you ever dance it from the 90s. Sounds fun. And what a night it will be. Okay. What's the coolest thing you've done this week? Any Smith songs? I was just listening to uh, Morrissey today. Too much Morrissey, if you ask me. No, I think his music is great. Page you manage, that's what I'm looking for. Good old Jess Paul page. Making guitar pick armor. I spelled it right, I think, guys. Did I spell everything right? I think so. I think I did.
Split ends, I got you. <laughs> Are you talking about my hair? I mean, forever, pretty much. Thank you for that, though. I'll get, I'll get on that. How about Earth, Wind, and Fire, September? Hey, girl. Hey, Val. Wow, there's a lot of people in the room. Nice to see you all. Let's get into the craft, shall we? I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put my computer right there. I wonder if that will. This, this stream is so clear. Oh, thank you, Hector Greenhorn. <laughs> First, I thought you were a heckler. No, that's fine. I'm gonna just close my laptop. Oops, no, my music was on it. <laughs> Whoops. No, I don't have any audio. Guys, what are you listening to right now? Put on your own soundtrack, as I said in the beginning, because um, whenever I play over stream, it sounds like poop, and you can't hear anything, and I'm the only one that gets to enjoy it. So put, your, put on your own soundtrack. Seems like the stream is going pretty good so far. All right, let's get into the craft, shall we? All right. So I think that you guys are aware of my famous punk rock jackets. The first quarantine Friday that we did, we pa started painting one of my other jackets, which we might do soon again. So this is the gnarliest mosh pit jacket that I own. And it's a pretty cool one. Don't you think? Rate, rate one to five, five being dopest jacket you've ever seen in the chat about what you think about this jacket, okay? I'd give it like a seven out of five. Yeah, so basically one day I bought a $20 pleather jacket from Forever 21. It was exactly what I wanted. It was simple. <laughs> Thank you guys. Hi, Jose. And Amy, hello. I'm trying to see everybody, if I can say hi to everybody. Um, and yeah, so I bought this off the rack at, at Forever 21 and just started embellishing it. It started, and I was wearing it in different uh, seasons, different levels, different iterations of the same jacket. Like, more studs were always added, different paint jobs and, and, and patches and pins were added over time. I recently... I recently added the elbows here on, that are not on my elbow. <laughs> but it's fine, because if I put my elbows on the table, you, these, these, won't get, these won't get hit. But it, it's still not completely on my elbow. We're probably going to have to move down a little bit. But any, oh, and, and the, oh, just my favorite part of the jacket is the back. And I'll, I'll show, you, show you my guy. <laughs> Wait, did you see him? Did you see the whole thing? And his finger? He's pretty cool. Okay. So, what we're going to do today is just, I just had this idea. So, to tell you how I came up with this idea, I was just in Pittsburgh filming Galatea, my movie that's going to be coming out. I'm very proud of it. I'm very excited about it. But I was talking with my director's sister, who became one of my new close friends. Hey, my family makes some metal studs, buttons, buckles, and oh, cool! Are you kidding me? How cool! What a coincidence! I probably have bought from your family then. So, I was talking to my director's sister, lovely girl, literally could not say enough good things about her. I wish we had more conversations. And, and I was talking about all the arts and crafts that I do, and all of my little side hustles, and how I show my creativity. I get, I can see a seven, yeah, yeah, and um, and so I. Wait, what was I? What was I saying? Oh yeah, I told them that you know I have these punk jackets. They're super cool, and I also have a lot of. Actually, I don't think I was even talking about them in the same sentence. But like, I I did mention that I have a bunch of guitar picks, that I cut out of cards that I wasn't using anymore. So let me sh guys show you one of the coolest contraptions I own. And that is the Pelham Pick Puncher. This looks like a staple gun. Close, close. But actually, it punches picks out of plastic. This is a little uh, a little guide for me. I've had this for years. I, I This is actually my second one because I ended up giving my original one away to a friend as a gift. And, and also all the picks I had done up until that point. Um, I hope they got lots of value out of them. But basically, when I'd be done with a business card, not a business card, uh, a gift card or 
you know, an ID expired, maybe a game token card. What's legal? I don't know. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I basically would destroy the cards because, you know, if you want to preserve any information, identity, you have to destroy your credit cards, I guess. Probably not, but it's a thing that people do, I guess. And I always thought that this is a great way to kind of destroy and reuse cards instead of putting them in the recycling, which might be a myth, who knows. And, um, <laughs> and so you use this Pell and Pick Puncher. I can show you guys, I, I saved a couple cards if you guys want to see how it works. Dude, engage with your audience? What? Guys, I'm reading all of your comments, I'm sorry, I need to explain what the craft is. And, uh... And so anyways, I'm going to show you exactly how this, this guy works. So obviously you can see the bottom. And even when you put, even when you put the card in there, you can pretty much see what you're going to get. Let me line this up because I actually wanted a, a certain side of this. Yes. So as you see, I can see exactly the pick I'm going to get. That looks gnarly, right? Like the, the teal and the, and the green. Oh, I've never actually seen this before. Are you ready, guys? Are you ready? Oh, that was weak. Oh, there it goes! <laughs> I actually always put it on the carpet and like, with all my weight. There it is. There's your brand new pick. It's got my bank's uh, logo on the back of it. Some of these picks that I did cut out, like I, I, I planned this craft out quite a lot. I tried to, I tried to get it as ready as possible so that we can actually see a finished product by the end of the night and see if my vision comes to life. So punch is a pick. Should we do one more just for funsies? Oh, there, that looks cool with the stripes maybe. Yeah. Great. And I also would line it up so I was, I was like getting the maximum amount of punch. So see, we've got, um, got these little stripies. One, two. Oh, I just shot it across the room. Oh, what a fun craft. What a fun craft. Don't you agree? Okay. So we have a pick now, but Jessica, how do you attach it to a jacket? Well, we're going to use the second coolest contraption that I have in this craft project. And it is. Do you, uh, sorry, do, do you not know what this is? Don't worry. It's a weird, it's a weird contraption. It's a leather hole punch. Yeah, that's basically the only thing it's for. And these things, by the way, are not that expensive. This is. It's definitely less than than thirty dollars because I would never spend more than thirty dollars on like anything. That's not that's not like life saving. <laughs> and this, I think this was like literally around fifteen dollars. So I put it on the smallest setting to create two different holes. Now I think I don't think I finished my story. So my director's sister said, why don't like I was I was talking about the only thing that I ever thought of to do with these picks, and that is to make a lampshade. And um yeah. I thought this this particular one would be really helpful because it's actually translucent, but to be honest, the majority of them are pretty opaque. So it would be a little bit hard to get a, a working lampshade out of it. So when, when Emily said, why don't you make a skirt? I was like, clothing, why didn't I think of that? They're plastic. I mean, I don't know if you can put that in the washing machine, but God, it would make for such a great fringe. You know, basically if you would tie one thread to anything, you're making scales, you're making, and then, or you're making a, a fringe. If you poked one hole, I decided to poke two holes to make it more like a button, as you can see here, so that they're going to be a little bit more structured. All right, are you guys ready? Here, I'll, I'll actually show you guys how I punch the holes in it. This thing is so cool. Not like I, I, I'm geeking out way too much about like this, this basic 
It's not basic though. Who knows what this is? A leather punch? Who has a leather punch? Nobody. I do. Okay. So basically it's got, let's see if you can see that. You can see where the hole kind of is going to be piercing the plastic. This punch is leather. It punches plastic. It can even punch really thick plastic. The device that they were, the material that they were using in the example on Amazon was like a cutting board. It was so thick, but it went right through. So I chose the, tw the, uh, the smallest hole. And basically that's it. It's punched. I like to wiggle it around and, and you've got a perfectly sized hole every single time. Some of these have cracked under the pressure if they were made of a not as flexible plastic, but man, that just cut like a charm. Dope. All right, let's do this. Since I will be using a phone, we're going to be switching from my face, I guess, to the actual scales. And I will show you what I've started with. So I did test this a little bit because I was like, if this doesn't work at all, like I wanted to, I'm going to be out at an entire live show and it's going to be a fail. As we know, I, I mean, a lot of my fails turn out to be decent. So here's the shoulder. And my idea is that, okay, here, let me put it back on that way and move closer. My idea is that since I have a round shoulder, if I sew these on in a pattern, it'll kind of create a scaled kind of cockatiel. Like, it, do you guys know what I mean? Like when a, when a cockatoo, um, has, or any bird, I guess, has layered feathers that kind of spread out. So I basically counted out that I'd need about like 25 to 30 at the minimum. And then we're going to start to start scaling and it's going to be a fun and hopefully relaxing process. Again, put on any music that you enjoy. You can listen to me talk while you're chilling because most of my lives are uh, one to two hours. But I think I'm really optimistic about this. And like I said, I kind of looked it up as I didn't look very deep onto the Internet, but I tried to look to see how many things have been made with guitar picks. And I don't think I've ever seen this before. So I'm really excited. And I hope that you guys are going to enjoy the craft as well. And I'm going to remember to talk even though I'm listening to music and can possibly just like zone out for an entire hour. But we're going to, we're going to talk it over. All right. Oh, let's, hmm. Okay. All right. Yikes. Still here? Oh. oh man, come on back. Let's go. Are we back? What's going on? Hello? Hmm. Can you guys see me or hear me? Oh yeah, there, there we go. I'm back. Okay. So this is going to actually be a pretty simple, straightforward kind of craft. We're going to take these and treat them like buttons. Whoa, <laughs> excuse me. And we're going to start sewing them on in a pattern. I've already started the scales just to see if it would basically work. And I realized too that I'd probably be painting a lot of these guitar picks once I see the final color arrangement because I don't like all of the, uh, the logos and some of the words on there. Extra care. Yeah, I don't think that, I don't really think I want that on the jacket. So let's start, shall we? Let's see how far we get. Oh, this is great. Oh, I could put it on my knee. <gasps> That's perfect. And we can actually see in real time if it starts to curve. I think it will. I'm pretty optimistic about this one, guys. Last time, it was a perfect stream. It was so easy. And I think this one might be the same. Are you as optimistic as I am?
So do you see the pattern we're going for? We're basically going in lines of scales. And my mom told me that I should probably be sewing them on one by one. So it won't get too stiff. And if you, okay, all right. We're in business now. We're putting these on. What's the coolest thing you did this week, guys? Who, uh, okay, this is, this is awkward. <laughs> I really want to make sure that we get this entire, okay, this is, this will work. This will work. Cool. In this way, too, if I decide to kind of layer them on one side or the other, I can change it whenever I want. This is, see, if I was doing this by myself, I, I'm not worrying about, of course. Okay, this will work. You guys can see. This is great. And I can see you. And here are, okay, we're in business. What's the coolest article of clothing that you have, guys? Describe it to me. What's what's the thing that you always feel so confident when you like go to a concert or, or you go out on a date or something? This this jacket is sort of a uh, conversation starter wherever I've worn it to so many events. It, again, and it's different versions of it. It's different levels of completeness. Obviously, it's it really doesn't ever have to be complete. I can always be adding to it. All right, we've got our first one on. It's going to be such a development to see how this starts looking after a couple different rows. Basically, I'm just tying it, tying it in the back, and then we're going to start on... Actually, I can probably just leave the needle in, right? Can I do that? Hmm. Well, we're not going any... For... Is that... One down, uh, 25 to go. Okay, I don't think we're going to continue with this one. Oh, I need scissors. I thought I had everything here. <laughs> I was so ready to be prepared. Ready to be prepared. Are we ever really ready to be prepared? Now spinning Deal Casino. Great. Oh my God, that's exactly where it's supposed to be. Oh, I forgot I forgot its little triangle with that I did with these guys. I think that that creating this little triangle up here is helping to kind of stabilize and flick the guitar pick up a little bit more, which we could always use some more height. I invite more height. And this kind of stitching is just a very basic stitching that I'm doing. It's really just what you would always see on a piece of clothing, a handmade piece of clothing at that. Nothing special. I didn't double my my uh, thread or anything uh, because I'm lazy. That's basically why. <laughs> okay, that's now it's like the rest. How many people out there know how to hand sew for any reason? Guy, girl, for what? Just for necessity? I'm curious how popular of a skill it is because I've always known how to hand sew and I within making my donut projects, I got really familiar with sewing machines, basic sewing machines. To the point where one time, I was hired to just help make somebody, like somebody make like a, a sample, whoa, <laughs> a sample line of clothing in their like living room, just because I knew how to work a sewing machine. This woman didn't know anybody else. So I got paid like, I don't know, a hundred bucks to just sew a pocket on backwards. I was really bad at it. I don't, I'm not very good with details and, and perfect perfection, you know? I think we know that though. I think everybody here knows that. 
Okay, st I okay. Th this is not the time where my <laughs> my nails get in the way of me doing something. Uh, killer, by the way, right? Am I right? Oh, I lost the needle. How many times I've said that in my life? I can't count. When I look up and nobody's there anymore. <laughs> I think on the playback, it pretty much jumps back to where it froze. So everybody's like, what? What happened? Where'd she go? I think I am going to do it row by row because I do not want to be re-threading this, or not re-threading it, but like re-knotting it every single time. Hello? Cool. Hand sewing can be so tedious, but it also can be so relaxing. I, I used to just turn off my brain when I would sew my donuts in my room or on the bus. I'm about losing a needle in your bed and I couldn't sleep about it. I slept just fine. <laughs> All right, I'm going to start going across my little pattern here. And I was, uh, I was, I was for this session so that we really could f see once and for all and all how cool this design can possibly be. And you guys get to learn some basic sewing, I guess, or at least like therapeutically watch some sewing oh it's not therapeutic when the when the thread gets caught though that is nightmare making come on let's be good for the stream guys as in guys i mean my thread yo cool Yeah, it's coming along so far, isn't it? Oh, did I sew that too far away? No way. It's perfect, isn't it? Okay, I'm going to remember to sew this triangle early on. Oh, it looks so dope. It looks so dope. I wonder if I can make a... Now playing the Smiths, spinning the Smiths. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Smiths hype. Ah, <laughs> making a fool of myself on stream with a needle and thread. I'm just, I'm trying to expedite it and make it fast and interesting. Too bad my phone doesn't have slow mo and hyper focus. Would you guys be interested in uh, classic rock band superlatives? I'd love to do one. Meaning roasting my favorite classic rock bands and giving them fake titles on, on the cliches that I perceive them to be. And it real aw, damn. <laughs> I was going to say, it's really pulling all of the colors that are already on the jacket, which is extremely fun. No! Oh no, I don't want to sit and be do undoing this knot. Anybody got any tips for, like, just having this knot happen, like, every other time you, you sew a button on? By hand? Maybe don't do it by hand. Yay! My chill sewing porn has, it has to have some drama in it every once in a while, at least. All right, this might not be the strongest thread. <laughs> this might not be the strongest stitch. 
It's a little bit, it's a little bit mixed up where it's supposed to go, but it's going to have to do for now. Cause I do want to see how much this starts to scale and layer once we get a little bit deeper into the mechanics of making guitar pick armor. I'm so glad I already started sewing like three on in the beginning of this. Excuse me. Valerie's is stressing you out. <laughs> I don't have my wonderful I don't have my wonderful sewing machine here. And I'm pretty sad about that. Not that I would use it right now. I'd still use my hands. Okay. Whoa. My thread's like going in my coffee cup over there. No, not around the handle. Just sewing up the end. Ah, uh, don't do this to me. It can't be easy. Oh, is it really stuck? <laughs> uh, excuse me, I'm trying to do a tutorial. It's embarrassing me. I basically am just saying to myself. Okay, how did it knot up again? Okay, you know what? It's in enough of a knot that I think it's pretty safe. I'm definitely gonna cut this because it's not doing me any good the way it is. Well, a spike will fall off, and sometimes I'll even pick it up off of the sidewalk and get to take it home so I can put it back on this jacket. It's complicated. It's complicated, but I love it. This is what we got so far. Dope or what? It really is. It's. It's doing what I want it to, and I'm so excited about it. One that I'm most likely going to paint over because of all of that American Express logo. So basically, I'm lining this up by putting the hole right next to the edge of the next one. And that's basically my parameters for scaling it. To make sure I've set them, oh wait, did I go too low? Mm, that's fine. Okay, smooth like butter, huh? Thank you. And there's so many holes in this jacket at this point. Like, there's so many things stuck into it that it's basically just an entirely different material from what it started out to be, which was just a bunch of fake black pleather. I even added this trim, this red trim. It was kind of a nod to Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark, if anybody's familiar. It was like one of the most impactful books of my childhood, in my opinion, for myself. Just poking the needle around in the dark. Making that little triangle. Yeah, punk rock crafts do not need to be difficult. They just take a little bit of time. Just put on your favorite album or two. Your favorite artist. And enjoy the evening. Feel accomplished. 
feel sick and killer. All right, I think it's time to sew up. I'm not going to cut this one. I'm basically going to keep it going for the next one so that we are not wasting that much of our time. Okay, don't screw up on me, please. Oh my god, perfect. Why was that one so easy? I guess I've got the hang of it now, right? If anybody's got crafts at home that you want to do with me, you know, one of my favorite kind of friend dates is to, like, bring over a bunch of art supplies or anything. Any, any kind of project you're doing. It's a way to not feel unproductive where you're visiting with a friend and just drinking a night away. You're actually doing something that will help you both, but you do it side by side. I used to love doing that with certain friends. Did I already cut it? I cut it. I said I wasn't going to cut it. <laughs> When did that happen, guys? All right. And the next one. Hmm. All right. Which which color, guys? We got the purple. We got the the teal. That's a lot of good logo going on there. We've got some lime green with some text on it. What do you guys think? Which one should go next in the succession? I really need to free that guy a little bit. I don't like how he's positioned. And I can kind of flip them on top of one another, kind of make them more homogenized wherever I want to do that. It's great! This is such a great design! Hey everyone! Teal! Everybody wants the teal. Let's go for it! Let's go for it, I say! Okay, let's lay it down. So we can put our first anchoring stitch. And there we go. What is that? Oh, guys, this is already looking so dope. I'm so excited about it. I had plans on actually making a set of, like, real bird wings for myself. <laughs> Jessica, how do you explain that sentence? Yeah, it was a costume piece. I used to love dressing up really cool and punk and going to concerts. And I had this idea that I'd make a set of wings and I'd suspend with them. If anybody knows what flesh suspension is, I was kind of into it for a hot second and did it. Um, that will, that should be an entire other story. I actually, actually, that would, that could be what the story is this week. Hey, think I thought of it, guys. Another one down! Okay, let's not cut this one. Let's sew it up. Please don't embarrass me, please don't embarrass me. And perfect! Double knot it there. And basically what, what I do is I put my needle halfway in, as you see. And then I wrap the thread around it twice. Oh, I'm not cutting it. Right. I'm not cutting it. taking a water break. If you guys need one too, feel feel welcome. So I'm going to basically take my thread and I'm going to continue it down to the second row. And we're going to join this guy. The only one that's on the second row. And let's see here. I go just a couple centimeters down from the row beneath. So that would be somewhere think right there. All right, which color next? Do you want to do a green one, a red one? I can't see. Red, green, red. Let's do it. My right mind. 
Hey guys, have you been cooking and or eating out? And what was the best thing that you ate this week? I want to hear it. I just made fresh guac. Fresh guac and fresh chips. It was so delish. I literally went to the supermarket to get fudge covered Oreos and avocados and had myself a field day. <laughs> trying to do it at the same time you are also trying to make sure you're in frame. Uh oh, this got a little off kilter. Is it in the right place? How did it get all the way over there? Uh oh, is this... What's going on? That's not in the right place at all. How did I do that? Okay, yeah, I don't... <laughs> I don't want that there. It was going so well. Okay. Gonna make another knot. Ten people watching me sew some guitar picks on my shoulders. Okay. I think I can do it. I think I can do it, you guys. The first guitar pick on the second row. Oh, I can put it anywhere now. Oh, this is so convoluted. Let's, let's put it over here. Individual guitar picks. This game card was from a place called Disco Circus or something like that. Something Circus. And it was just a big arcade. Maybe Circus Arcade. Maybe that's what it was called. Okay, just get in there. Get in place and then we'll hammer you down. Cool, that's exactly where I want you. Just stay right there. And let's serve you in place! Cool. We pierced the leather. The pleather. <laughs> Get a little peek of my alien every once in a while. I love him. He's actually a, a cover-up. I, I had a different alien and he was awful. I, I wonder if I have any pictures of him because I've always wanted to do it before and after. It's just like, I did an initial illustration. It looks so stupid. He looks so passive and dumb. And so I made this guy who's kind of, he's got a lot more attitude, as you obviously see. Uh, this thread is going to keep getting stuck on the scales. Just hear you me. Center this a little bit more so I don't have to keep moving. And I guess I can just kind of position them every time they go astray. Which bleach job did you like better from last week? If you missed last week, we uh, we bleach dyed, tie dyed some uh, some black clothing that we have to make it a little bit more punk rock. I loved how they both turned out. I love the one on Trisha's uh, 412 knit shirt because it ended up looking like pink clouds, which is just so me. I feel like, of course, I would get pink clouds 
on a black punk rock tee because that's that just sounds like me. Okay, I'm gonna do a little knot here. And then we're gonna move on because I wanna see what this is going to look like. I don't know if this one's particularly the most stable, but that's where we're gonna leave it. Oh no. Yes. Yes, you did your job. Okay. Now without cutting it, let's do let's do one more. Hmm. Get over there. Stay. Please. So these first three I sewed onto this buckle that honestly it always comes open and I'm probably going to be sewing it shut sooner or later. But for now, we're going to continue with our scales. We got some purple. We got some yellow. Let me know what you guys think is looking good. Here's a cool one. This is from an artist that I bought off of Etsy. She had a card that was basically plastic and I could cut perfectly into this wonderful... Oh, it was actually, it's this, it's this side, because it says thank you, and I thought that was great. Let's, let's see this one. Eh, uh, you won't be able to see the thank you. Nah, let's save that for later. I think it's time for my purple. Find our little hole. Thank God for my guides. And I think we're off to the races! giving my ear a little scratch. Okay. The suspense! Just put it approximately in the right place. And then stab it till it stays. You guys, I think this is going to work. I know that I'm being a little bit optimistic for the times, but I think that we're going to get kind of close to what I was predicting it was going to look like, and I'm pretty proud of myself. Because I'm not an engineer, but does that look dope or does that look dope? These are... Thanks, Jose. I'm glad that somebody believes in me. Where are we? Okay. I love it. I, I love this stitch that I kind of made up on the spot because it really does look pretty punk rock. Well, punk rock is like sewing up your cuts with dental floss, so maybe not exactly punk rock, but punk rock enough. I used to know people that did that. They would sew things with dental floss. It's like, just get thread guy. Like, it exists. Your grandmother probably has some you can steal. Yes. <laughs> Every single correct stitch is just like, yes, it worked. It worked this time. Hmm. You know, even with these really strong stitches, these guys can still kind of fly anywhere they want. I don't know if that's going to look natural or right or good, but it's what we got. Okay, let's tie this one up and move on. Please work, please work, please work. Basically, I double knot everything just to keep my, my clothing on. All right. Again, developing slowly, but developing surely, right? Oh, what a cool craft. Okay, I think it's finally time for one of these lime guys, right? Oh, does that look dope? You guys, you're watching a new style be born. Are you excited about that? Like a new... I mean, I'm, sh I'm sure this is done before. I'm sure that they did this literally on probably like one of the... 
uh, Project Runways, and I'm just forgetting. I'm thinking that I invented it. Who knows? Guitar picks. Ah, oh, there's so much you can do. Maybe I will make a lampshade of only the translucent ones. I, I can't say that I have a lot of those, though. Place it, pat it, stab it till it stays! <laughs> Is that in the right enough place? Is that in a an acceptable place? Mmm... Damn, I don't think so. Damn, cut it. Cut it loose. Cut your losses. You need to move it a little bit up. Just cut it anywhere. Cut it free. Come on, guy. I am live on stream. Could you please stop embarrassing me? I've taken to call people guy on the street. Like, I do it in my head or on Facebook, but it's like, Hey, guy. Here you go, guy. Thanks, guy. And it just feels so traditional. Like I'm a gangster from, from my Italian roots in New York. Oh my god, Jess, you can thread a needle, but you can't thread a freaking guitar pick. You're embarrassing yourself. And I play the game where I can... Maybe you can hot glue them. No, 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 no. We do not hot glue things onto clothing. Man, did I used to do that. I used to make my, my donut crowns out of that. And you know that those, they just melt in the sun? They do. Just anything that's hot glued. Even I try to get, like, the Gorilla Glue stuff, and I know it's still pretty, uh... Pretty darn fragile. I've used all kinds of hot glue. It's very temporary and dangerous. I have hot glue here. We don't we do not use it on clothing. Oh my god. We do not use hot glue, and then I just, like, spend 20 minutes uh, untying a, a knot in my thread that's probably going to have to be cut sooner or later, and it will just ruin the whole, the whole thread. The whole button. Oh, God, what have you gotten yourself into? What a mess. Is it still better than hot glue, Jessica? Is it? Damn, I have to cut it. Cut it free. Cut your losses. Once again, guys, we're going to get this sucker on here. I, I promise. So, guys, have you gone into public yet? <laughs> Who's excited for Hamilton Plus? Not on my computer, so that means it's not getting watched. We do. All right, let's get this about this one now. Don't embarrass yourself again. All right, all right, we're getting it down. Oh, uh, it's going to be so dope. And so basically, whenever I figure this one out. Okay, no, you can't go around that guy. When we figure this one out, I basically just do the same thing to the, like, to the opposite shoulder. All right. Almost done. You know, I've got an idea here. I'm going to get closer to the floor so that I think that I can have an easier time navigating, which is kind of what I want to do before, but I just want to make sure everything's in the light and you're able to see it. Because it's so freaking suspenseful. 
crass with Jess. See her face sometimes. See his face more. <laughs> oh, did I lose the needle? Yep. Where'd you go, needle? Okay, so I think I've decided the story that I'm going to tell this week upon thinking about certain memories where I wore this jacket. And yeah, I think that my story time tomorrow is going to be one that I've thought of before and going through all of the weird injuries that I've had or, or not injuries, like basically weird stuff that I've done with my body because I feel like I've had a few just like odd experiences when it comes to, um, I don't know. I, I know that's a weird thing to say, but like, I, I can think of three things that I can talk about that I can tell a story. It's either like an injury or something that I learned my body could do that I just, I don't know. I, it, it's a weird topic, but I think it might be a fun video. Say yay in the comments if you're interested in hearing what this video is going to be about. <laughs> well, I mean, you're probably going to watch it on Monday, and that's how you'll know. Okay, one more time, and then we're going to sew it up, and hopefully this guy will be in permanently. Hey, look at all those yays. I love you guys. Yeah, so I'm basically going to tell the story of three different things. One is an experience I've had with my blood. Another is an injury that was very odd and very, very disgusting sounding. And also something that is very uh, rare that I did to my body that just not a lot of other people can say that they've done. And I have picture proof. So those that's what I, that's what the story times are going to be, I guess. I think it'll be... I, and honestly, I think it's a little bit of a unique story time. I don't think I've ever heard anything like that before. So... I think it'll be interesting. All right. Okay, I'm going to cut this one so that we can finish off this track. And one thing, too, about all of my costume creations, the insides just look like shit. Like, I don't even care what the individual stitches end up looking like. They're always dangling. They're always everywhere. Like, the inside of this jacket, it's just all metal. Actually, that looks kind of cool, doesn't it? That does look kind of cool. Never. <laughs> These stitches are a little messy, though. Okay. So this guy goes underneath there, like that, and move it around. Okay. Oh my gosh! I love it. Straighten out. Oh my god, that's so cool. Okay. Let's see here. Oh, I haven't used that color yet. Look at that goldy guy. We're definitely using that next. This one, okay, so this is our first row. This is our second row. I'm going to make the last one. And this is going to taper too. I don't think I explained that. Um, we're not going to be doing like five rows of like five all the way down. We're going to taper until we kind of come to that and we're going to see what it looks like. And maybe I'll have to fill it out some more. Maybe it doesn't work. That's part of the mystery, isn't it? All right, I'm threading my needle. I'm just keeping my jacket there. If it doesn't completely fall and just... I'm back. All right, let's try this. I think actually I'm not going on the inside. I'm going right here on this little strap for the first... I think it's going to hang off. I think... Mm, Okay, so yeah, we're definitely going to go there. Yeah. Can I even get it in there? Yeah, right here. Ah, yes. 
And then I think I'm going to sew the other side to the actual jacket. Is that a good idea? I think it is. Because I don't, I actually have been wanting to sew this strap down for a long time because it gets in my way a lot. Now spinning, panic at the disco. Girls, girls, boys. Man, I once wrote an entire video essay. It was kind of a rant on the video for girls, girls, boys, because I never liked it. I always had a problem with it. Maybe I can tell it right here what my my rant about. Does, ha, okay, so has anyone seen the... Is it Girls, Girls, Boys? What is this? Girls, Girls, Boys by Panic at the Disco. It's off of the... Too, is it Too Young to Die album? And so he did basically a D'Angelo ripoff. He did a, a video where he was basically shirtless. He looked naked from the from the waist up and probably had underwear going on, but he was just standing in a dark room. And then in one of the versions, he had girls in it. And he had just come out as bisexual, okay? I'm like, oh my God, dude's on my team. I was pretty excited about it. And instead of having, like, a girl and a boy and, like, kind of tipping his hat to his now new announced sexuality, he had two girls make out in the video. And I was like, wow, dude, what a freaking cheap trick. You couldn't have thought of it. Oh, man. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I basically just sewed through the back of my jacket. But anyways... If you guys want to go watch the video for Girls, Girls, Boys, you can see what I was talking about. And you can also look up D'Angelo's original version, which was just him shirtless. And that's what uh, Brendan was going for. But when he included the girls, I was just disappointed that he did the cheapest kind of peep show gimmick for a music video instead of doing something a little bit more sincere. But then again, I shouldn't be really judging anybody's choices on how they express their sexuality in their art. I just didn't think it was as articulate as it could have been. So I wrote an entire essay and I never published it on rectradio.net. And then it just got old news and I never told anyone how I felt about that video. The song is pretty fire. The song is pretty fire. You're right about that, Rafa. I, I, and I like listening to the song, and I listen to it all the time, so... It is fire. Okay, one more stitch. This one's a tough one because I'm I'm actually sewing through the buckle and yikes and the leather. Oh my gosh, how cool. Okay, just stay like that. Just stay right there, please, so that you make my scales work. Uh, I wonder how many nails are gonna pop off <laughs> in this in this craft tonight. I feel they're ready. My black coffin nails. Actually, they're not coffin nails. They're stilettos. Stiletto cuts, pieces of plastic. Then I glue on my fingernails. <laughs> but they're fire, for sure. All right. Second row is done. We're moving on to the third one now. And again, it's getting shorter and shorter as we go. They're not... They could all be facing in a better direction. I think they're going to be a little bit rogue as I continue to move. But hopefully that'll look good. Maybe I'll end up re-sewing some on. But we're going to get an initial feel for how this is really going to go. Okay. Should I keep this thread? Yeah, let's keep it for a little while. Now let's go in a separate row.
streaming now, Run River North. Some of these artists, I don't even know them as a band. I just know individual singles. Does anybody else, like, love a thousand singles but don't know what the bands are? I try to look up all the bands that I really connect with, like, one or two of their songs strongly to find, you know, the rest of what they do, which is kind of how you become a fan of music, I guess. <laughs> I just, I just describe becoming a fan of a band. Some of these guys are a little cockeyed, and it's really bothering me. All right. Starting the next row. Hello? There you are. Okay. There. Exactly that's where it's supposed to go. Ooh, how about another blue one? Or should we put that one further down the line? Yeah. I'm trying to tile the colors well. Okay. Oh, good placement. It's where it should be. Hello? Trying to make my triangle here. Have you guys been watching any other YouTube? I just found a channel that calls out scammers as they're scamming them. And I guess everybody does that, but basically the guy was able to see information that the scammers were were doing on their screen that basically blocks anyone from seeing such. So, so it was really cool to be behind the, the curtain. Pretty much all you listen to are singles. Yeah, I, I listen to quite a lot as well. Not always the most popular singles, but... Singles of a band somewhere out there. How many knots have I made so far? I think a couple. Streaming now, Audio Slave. R.I.P. Alright, I need a new piece of thread. Let's examine. Good placement. Everything's all cockeyed. We might be resewing some of these. But how cool. And it's like, I don't even think I'm gonna need that that many to make a really impactful design. See my powerful sewing skills threading the needle. It's kind of a lost art. I don't really know how to describe it. Some people are just born with the talent. <laughs> Some people grow to learn it. Come on, guy. All right. So this row is going to get four. And we can see the next, the next one will be right here. And I think it's time for another blue one. Wow, that color is intense. Spinning Audio Slave, be yourself. Sorry you guys can't hear it. It's a good song. <laughs> S 
Stab it till it stays. <laughs> that is another great t-shirt we can make. Stab it till it stays. Be yourself is all that you can do. What do you guys listen to as you work? Do you listen to podcasts? Do you listen to some of your favorite bands? I could literally, I could literally sit here all night, listen to music, maybe put, put hoarders on in the background. <laughs> Trying to make sure you guys are in the loop here. Okay, there we go. Now spinning Sam Smith. Because I'm obsessed. Ah, it's a disaster back here. I didn't even know. I didn't even know. Damn. Okay, we might be able to fix this. Let's hope. Cross your fingers, guys. No! <laughs> no, 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 no! That was so good! Oh, it's always okay. Oh, we did it, guys. We did it. Yes. The first Sam Smith song I ever heard was La 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 and also Money on My Mind when he basically just had that EP out and I heard it on television. He was playing live at, like, Jimmy Kimmel or something, and I'm like, holy crap. I don't know who that is, but I, I want that song. I want that music, and been a fan ever since. That guy is such a voice, such a unique voice. All right, we got to do something about this. Uh-huh. What about you, Alejandro? Mm, I didn't see you, see your answers, guys. All right, blue one's on. Next guy, we're gonna go over. We're gonna put that right next to the blue. And I think that we're gonna end up on the strap to pin it down again. Okay, let's. Let's do another green. We can probably get another green in here. Tie it in with the top. Is that the... Okay, that's the third row. Okay, let's hope that's where it's supposed to be. So besides these shoulder pads, if I have more cards or more guitar picks left over, I'm also going to be making kind of like a little pocket topper? A pocket topper. Basically on one of my other my other jackets, because I really like this idea of incorporating the guitar picks, because like, what is more rock and roll than guitars? Electric guitars. Again, I might be painting some of these because I do not like all the logos and the terms that are on here. It's a little bit obvious. I was also listening to Metric today. I haven't listened to enough of their full albums, and I was like, you know, these guys are really talented. I should see what they are about. Hello? Hello. Hey. Hey guys. Sorry. Hey, hey Rafa. Just um just came back from the dead, I guess. Let's see if I can do this. Yeah, that'll work.
Uh, again, getting all mixed up in my thread. Have you guys ever heard of the Pelham Pick Puncher before I told you about it? And how many of you are going to get one now? My mom thought of even taking some of those prepaid uh, credit cards that you get in the mail that you never use and you throw away into the recycling bin and cutting those up because why not? I'm all mixed up inside. I'm all mixed up inside. It could be a song. <laughs> Sewing is never as confusing until you're doing it on live stream. Actually, one thing that I would always do is I would either sew or draw in bed, and I would constantly be losing pens and and racers like I would look for minutes for them sometimes never even finding them they would just disappear does that happen to anybody else like where are these pens going into another universe well we don't even care what's in our background anymore do we <laughs> And the last guy. Cleanly. You sew a stitch and it goes where you, you put it. It stays there. Should I cut it? No. Let's... Let's do one more and then, oh, sorry guys. It's getting violent up in here. Let's continue on to the last. Pick. We could t definitely use some more green. Oh my gosh. Look at this guy. <laughs> that guy's going right there. That's Pat Catan. I this was my card from my favorite craft store that basically got bought up by Michaels. We always had a Michaels, you know, in the same town, but I like Pat Catan so much more because it was so much more traditional, homier, small town, cheap. Oh my gosh. Craft supplies for like nothing comparatively. Now I have to buy them off Amazon. Now spinning. Brand new. Degosser. From one of my favorite albums. And this row's almost done, guys. Oh my god, we're gonna be done in no time. She says, an hour and 30 later. <laughs> Here's a good question. Do you guys have any bands that you literally are sure that you found and heard every single song they've ever recorded? Does anybody have any bands like that where you've literally listened to practically every recording that's available to the public. I think the only band I can say that for is Third Eye Blind. And probably Fall Out Boy, but they've got a lot of content and they just keep making music and I gotta make sure that I, I've really heard it all. Damn, I'm lost. Let's just sew this one up. Let's call this one a night. No, not a whole night, just for this guy. Because I, I want to finish at least one shoulder, and I want us to try it on and see what happens. See how darn cool we look. Darn cool!
Okay. We'll, we'll take a look at where we are now. And honestly, the rows are just going to keep getting shorter. So this is going to this is going to be no time. Oh my god. Dude, how cool. Little again, we've got a little they're they're all like kind of going in their own direction. Hopefully I can figure out a way to kind of straighten them out or I'll I'll resew a couple of them again. Because some of them aren't participating as much as they could. Okay, so the next row only has three. Lost my needle <laughs> already. There it is. Okay. All right, I think I'm going to sew it right on this line, actually. It's, that would be a good place to start. And in order to tile them, we're going to go right about there. And which color would come next? Going, going right here. Let's put another circus one. I think it's far enough away. Is that low enough? Yeah. And I am going to sew right on the seam line of where the shoulder meets the sleeve. And that will be my guide. And that will probably be, it will probably be the straightest line we have on this entire thing. Whoa, what happened? Oh, I lost, I lost my footing. I've lost my way. <laughs> Jeez. I can't, I can't even see you guys. Wait a minute. I should just open my computer over here so I can see exactly what I'm seeing. Does that make sense, right? Sorry, I'm actually getting into the stream. See what it looks like. What a dumb thumbnail. <laughs> what a dumb nail. Okay. We're in business. There we go. Don't mind my dumb nails. And it should go right there. Yep, right on that line. Oh, so cool.
Oh, goodness. Every stitch has its own drama. But man, are these feathers looking good. Man, I could also do the weirdest cosplays I've ever done. That would be a pretty fun story time as well. What, what would you guys want to hear more? The weirdest cosplays I've done or the weirdest things I've done with my body, which I still, it's still hard to really convey exactly what I mean by that without explaining the whole thing. And if anybody has a better title to, to express that better, be my guest, give me ideas. Now, streaming, Death Cab for Cutie, Bixby Canyon Bridge. Man, that band can, can write a sad song. Oh my god. Alright. We're gonna go right beside it, and on that wonderful seam line. Hmm. I think we're gonna go yellow. We haven't seen yellow in a little bit. Oh, I... And if you were so curious, um, cards, basically you can get about five guitar picks out of them. Like a credit card size. I'm able to see more of your uh, cosplay. Why not do both? Uh, that'd be a long, weird video if I did both. Man, it keeps freezing and then coming back, and I'm like, how much have you guys missed? I'm able to see the screen now. But at least we're all just hanging out, right? <laughs> Some of us have more lag than others. I'm talking about myself. Alright, I think we can staple this one down. I'm sure you guys are always so fascinated about the ending stitches. As you see, I had to take out, like, as, as if you can see the holes that are already existing in here. I basically had to take out a couple rows of my spikes because I really wanted to do the armor, like shoulder pads, like shoulder armor that was going to fan out in the way that only like a curve on a jacket can. So we, we basically, I basically um, took the spikes off of the shoulder and put them on the upper elbows as you saw earlier on. Okay, again, hawk eyed, but we're we're there. We're there. We're feeling it. Don't get stuck. It's like I can't blame some of these guys for going cock eyed because I sewed them cock eyed. All right, last one on this row, and then after that we have three more, and we've basically created the shape that we wanted. We'll see if it's enough. Okay, what's next? What color? We've got quite the array, and this is what we've got left. Oh, we did we did this one earlier. Or at least one from the same card, I mean. $25. I almost want that one to be on the bottom. Yellow, bright yellow. Hmm. I think the one that would make the most sense would be this guy, because there's no other colors around it like it. 
So if we can continue our very random tiling. Random color scheme, as random as we can possibly get. It's so cool because I've only been doing this specific craft for like all of two hours now and I'm already beginning to kind of get into the habit of expecting what this material does every single time I move with it, every every time I lay down one of the, the buttons. I don't know where this needle keeps ending up. There it is. Probably not in a good place, but whatever. Come on, guy, just one more stitch, and this one's done. Oh my god, we're getting down to it. Three more, guys. Three more, and we're going to have our shoulder pad. Or at least, at least the beginning of one. I'm not sure if it's going to be enough. I want it to really stand out. <laughs> I want my character to walk into the room and just own it like... I want my character to own it like the queen she is. And there goes there goes the the pointer now. Cool. Okay, I'm going to knot this and I think not cut it because we can save some time here. Okay, guys. Wow. How far we've come. All right. Okay. Next one on this on the next row. Oh, I think we'll follow. Yeah. We'll follow some of these holes here. Oh, not through the hole though because it won't catch. Okay. Perfect. Hmm, what color, what color? I think we can use some more blue. Oh, it's matching up too perfectly with where the other studs are starting? Oh, I couldn't have planned this better, really. I hope that this looks enough. Because I really want this to be impactful. I think it already is, really. Ugh. Perf. What's your least favorite one on here? What's your least favorite guitar pick? Because I'm probably going to be doing them over. Like, either painting them. Yeah, painting them, basically, if I don't like them. We can have a couple adjustments here. It's for the good of the jacket, really. Ugh, oh, I'm always just poking in the dark. <laughs> okay, last stitch for this guy. I'm probably gonna have to get new thread for the last two. Whoa, what are you doing? All right. Okay, I'm going to thread my last piece of thread 
for the live stream so that we can finish this up. We can see the full one and only, one and only for now, guitar pick armor. Oh my god, I think it's going to look so dope. You guys have to stick around for the final showing. We're so close now. This might go over two hours, just a little bit. I think it already did. <laughs> but I think it's going to be worth it. This is a lot to accomplish in two hours. We just made, we just basically invented something, okay? I'm so excited about it. Okay. This is what we got. Okay. Let's see here. I think that the thank you one is going to have to go here because it just is a color that we haven't seen yet in this in this area. All right. Get in there. I'm going to be like the dragon mother with these dragon scales, these rock and roll dragon scales. Does, doesn't that look like the dragon eggs? Has no one else looked at the dragon eggs from Game of Thrones? I'm really, like, getting those vibes. Okay. Man, I should have held it this way the whole time. So much easier. What's a band that you guys, I mean, I've, I've probably asked this before because I made an entire video of it, but do you guys have any bands that you're so certain, like very, like a band that you love that very few people in the world know about? I was thinking about doing a second, like, band you definitely don't know kind of video in the future, if you guys would like something like that. Bye, Rafa. Thank you for coming. Bye, Jose. We're so close to the end, guys. I swear to God, it's in sight. Gonna sew this up. We're gonna do the last one. And then we're gonna try it on. Oh, no. This one got compromised as well. Oh, yeah? Tell, what's your friend's band... In Austin's uh, name, William Schoenberger. Stoneberger. Stoneberger. <laughs> okay. Lucid Dementia. Interesting. I like that name. That's a pretty decent band name, dude. It's fun. Okay. Let's cut this guy free. Wherever my scissors went, they're there. Ugh, what a mess. <laughs> it just looks so tragic on the inside. Okay, guys, one more. One more, and then we're going to see what we got. Wow, I can't believe... Okay, definitely a green one. Definitely a green one.
All right, we're going to use the next, the next row of holes, maybe right there. Last one, guys. Are you kidding me? What a successful craft this was. Once again, punk rock crafts, I guess. You know what? You know why punk rock crafts are just so successful? It's because anything goes, really. You know? If you if you want to put your flavor of your personality into your outfit, it's as you intended, as executed as intended. Nobody would know the difference because it's just supposed to look fun. It's just supposed to look off the wall. That's why punk is so much fun. Punk doesn't have a definition. It's the alter. And this is the way I express my punkness, I guess. Oh my gosh, guys, we're so close. So close. One more stitch sew it up, and we're going to put it on ourselves. Myself, I guess. And I am going to see just how dope my guitar pick armor is going to be. Oh my god. Now streaming, Big Wreck, Alibi. Guys, if you want to check out anybody, I know I've mentioned them so many times, but they're just the best. Big Wreck from Canada, Hard Rock, so proud of them. <laughs> All right, guys. It's going to be our moment of truth here. We're ready. We're doing this. Sorry about that. <laughs> Whoops. <gasps> All right. Are you guys are you guys ready for this? I'm not sure if you are. Have one more look. Man. I really don't like that they're not straight. We're probably going to be fixing that, but let's just see how they really do move with the jacket. I'll put the other I'll put the other arm on first. Okay, okay. All right. This is what we're working with, guys. So, let's look at it from side profile. I'm not, am I seeing the dimension? Yeah, well, again, a little, there, everything seems to be doing its own thing so it's not like all springing up into one like I might like so okay I'm loving the idea but one not enough coverage I think that this has to span a lot more of my shoulder and also I really I want them to be straighter so I'm probably going to be kind of fixing these to say the least but dude, pretty dope, am I right? Looks like you guys are really liking the organic look, as I see in the comments. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe I'm thinking too hard on it. Wonder, do you think that they should come up anymore? 
like one more row on top as well. I definitely think, oops, just knocked over my water. Nothing spilled though. I don't know, it's not as dynamic as I was hoping it would be. I mean, it is pretty cool, but I feel like it's a baby, it's a baby armor. It's not, there's not enough there. Like, blink and you're, you'll miss it kind of thing. What do you guys think? I'm not going to keep you on stream for that much longer. But I think, I think I want to put more on. <laughs> it is really cool. It's a really cool idea. And for the most part, it worked out. Like, it did basically what it's supposed to. I just want more of it, you know? It worked out so good, I want more of it. Dope. Actually, hmm. I'm like thinking of other ways that I can kind of keep them in line. Oh, but they do have, I mean, for what they are and how many I have on here, they have pretty good projection as far as the feathering that I wanted. Like, they're sticking out, for sure. Pretty dope. Well, we definitely added to this jacket, guys. For sure. <gasps> Thanks, Aaron. I'm glad you like it. Man, I'm gonna have to punch out a whole lot more cards. Watch out. But guys, was this fun or what? I'm definitely going to be posting pictures of, like, both of the shoulders done and... Probably a lot more symmetry going on, but man, is that dope! Sorry, that was loud. <laughs> Yeah, I might even be taking some of these studs off on the bottom here, maybe. But I think I want I want a lot more. I want more drama. Dope. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed the Oh, that looks really cool. <laughs> like I feel like they're missing from right here, and I I want more. I want more on the back as well. But yeah, what a dope idea, right? It turned out pretty good, too. Still got some left over, so they're going right on here. And that's what I'm doing with my Friday night. What are you doing? My coffee's cold. I Why did I imagine them to be so much more full? I just don't think I have enough. I think it's going to look better when I when I put some more on. I'm pretty excited about it. All right, guys. I hope you enjoy the rest of your night. Thank you for coming and watching me sew uh, around 30, 25 guitar picks on, onto my shoulder. Not even. Actually, a lot less than that. But thank you for hanging out. When I, uh, when I think about these live streams... I, it reminds me of hanging out with some of my my friends on Skype because it's been one of the things that has really saved me in this self-isolation that I've gotten to still communicate with the people that I care about and makes me feel better about the direction that the world's going in right now, that we're all still around. And I hope that you guys are enjoying the lives and getting something out of them and just feeling like you're chilling with somebody in person. As, at least it, as close as it could possibly be in this weird, weird time. So, I hope you guys have a good night. I'm going to go and continue to do this dope craft while I listen to my, my music in my room, not on my headphones. Bye, guys. Thank you. And this is my outro. Turn off. Turn off!